Yo, rest in peace, man. That was ridiculous. All right, what are we saying? Uh, let's see if we can bribe Banks into a Smash stream. I'll go at it. Oh man, yeah, I haven't I haven't played Smash in a bit, man. I'd be super rusty. Be super duper rusty. Um, I guess I'll just yeah, I guess I'll just go back at it, man. Go back at it. Ah, oh, gosh darn it, man. Cause it's like, you have to grind, like that is the whole thing, right? Like, you have to grind in this game. I lost too many Pokemon. But I mean like, the Pokemon... Cause like, if I would've had Dustox, dude, if I would've had Dustox, it would've been easy. It would've been easy, easy, lemon squeezy, but... Nah. <sighs> I didn't have Dustox, cause yeah, Dustox is bug poison, right? And poison resists fighting, bug resists fighting. That's so much resist. That's so much resist. I thought the Makuhita would be good, but he really wasn't. Like, because uh, because I have the battle style on set for this Nuzlocke instead of shift, like, it really limits my options. I can't just send the Pokemon in. So when I get to that Makuhita, like, if I do a switch on that turn, like, that's a free bulk up. Which I think is what I ended up doing. I let him bulk up on me? Or no, no, I, I... I think I was... Yeah, that's right. I just did the Marsh Stomp, because I was like, I can't switch. And so I went for the, um... The Mud Slaps, in the hope that, like, the accuracy reduction would really help out. Because, like, Vital Throw is the one that has the, what, 80 or 70 accuracy? And he was still landing it, man! He must have had, like, 45 or less accuracy. He was still hitting me. <laughs> red? Red like rust? Yeah, no, man. I'm super rusty at Smash Brothers. I haven't played that game in forever. I'm so bad. So bad right now. Less confusion. Was someone confused? I don't remember anyone being confused. <laughs> Perfect time to tune in, Crackers? Oh, man. I've, I've lost a Brawly for the first time. Yo, this game is so much harder than gold was. Oh, gold was so much easier, dude. It was like with gold, it was like... The second gym leader was a joke. I, I never lost the second gym leader. I would either A, use uh, Geodude, or just throw rocks. Those rocks would one hit all of her Pokemon. And like, I'm not even like her level. I could be under her level and I could still sweep her team with one Geodude. Or, I could have, at her level with Bugsy, him. At his level. I keep forgetting Bugsy's a boy! Bugsy's a real boy, Banks! Bugsy, I would send out my Flying-type Pokémon, obviously resisting, you know, wait, this isn't the right way, it's it's the house, the neighbor's house, that's where you want to go. Oh, Dustox learns Confusion. Oh, yeah, no, that would be really good. Having a super effective attack on the Fighting-type Pokémon with a double resist. That's so strong. So strong. It's the Butterfree I always wanted. Just, you know, without being a Butterfree. <laughs> yeah, Tin Slacker says, okay, okay, naming this one in faith. Tin Sloppers. Yo, is that what I should be doing, guys? Should I do Mudkip again? Cause yeah, last time I was bribed into doing Mudkip. This time, I'm not bribed, so it's like, whatever you guys want. Should I be Trico, should I be Torchic, or should I be Mudkip? I mean, clearly Torchic has the best, uh... The best record. Trico has the worst record. Trico doesn't get past Roxanne. How far did I get last time? I have game overed so far four times. Once to Roxanne. Uh, twice to Watson in a row. And then, um... Once now to Brawly. So I've lost first gym leader, third gym leader, third gym leader, second gym leader. Alright, alright, let's see, what do we got? Um, you gotta name something after me, that's the path of victory. Shoddy Dibs on Puccina, if it happens, he's one of my favorite Gen 3 mons. Yo, man. Uh, we will see. Pyrus says, wait, yeah, I already told him. Mudkip, Trico, okay, one for Mudkip, one for Trico, two for Mudkip, three for Mudkip. You know, you don't want to pick Torchic? Jeez. I mean, Torchic's a good Pokemon, but yep. 
Everybody's voting Mudkip, let's do it! <laughs> Name your starter banks because you are immortal? No, man. I give priority to the names, the people who donate to the stream, and Tense Doctor donated $5, so he gets five names. And we've done uh, two of those so far, so we're gonna do the third one on this uh, Mudkip right here. We'll name him Tenth Swampert. Yo, he's got a lot of hope, man. Our track record's not really good in Emerald, man. My Kip would be number three, yeah, because we did a, we did a Meryl, and we did a Lotad. Those were the previous tenth Pokemon. Oh, whoops, and I didn't name him again. Gosh darn it, I'm just mashing A and B. Now let me just reset so I can name him. Ah, oh, so annoying. I don't know. Wait till slate port. That takes way too long. Gosh darn it! I chose. I chose to go back. Oh, yo, J Glove with the 200 bits. So that's how it works. Yo, man, that is indeed how it works, man. And yo, another 100 bits. Correcting the word works. Yo, thank you so much, J Globes. The 300 bits. That's 400 bits just today. Yo, J Globes confirmed. Top donator for Super 2U. Yo, yo, thank you very, very much. Yeah, man, that's that's 400 bits. I owe J Globes four Pokemon names, man. Four Pokemon. I mean, obviously, you know, it's like you could just vote for the one, because like, obviously, I'll just win the Nuzlocke. But if you really think I won't win the Nuzlocke, then you could do another one for the next Pokemon. That also needs to be named after you, I guess. Maybe. Alright, Tint Soccer says, No Ludicolo, no Mudkip, and no Meryl. After Mudkip, make me a Wingle or something. <laughs> yeah, I got you. But yeah, nah, this, this Mudkip is the one. This is the one. Speedrunning habits? Yeah, exactly, Crackers. Because it's like, I've, I've read all that text before. I've read his text, like, at least twice. So I'm just mashing A and B through it, man. And, uh... You know, it's a 50-50, man, because I'm mashing both buttons. Whichever input gets through, on when he asks, do I want to name the Mudkip? That's gonna... That's gonna decide my fate. <laughs> Jglob says I want to be something fat. If I catch another Slack Off, I can do that. Slack Off's kind of fat. Um... Let's see... Oh, oops, that's the TV, not the clock. Is there any other fat Pokemon in this game? Wrecker says you should make it a habit to save before you pick your starter. Yeah, that's smart, man. That's really smart. I should do that. Oh, snap! <laughs> Yo, is that donation music? Yo, Vexatious with the six dollars! Yo, man. What do you- what do you want, Vex? What do you want to be? I- I can't read his message. <laughs> I'm gonna expand that, make it a little bit bigger. Let's see. Vex was saying, I don't want to, I don't care my dad's on TV, mom. Got things to do. One team of six of me, please. <laughs> you want to be all the Pokemon, Vex? You want to be all the Pokemon? I mean, like, I got a few names I got to do. I have to do 10th, I have to do 10th uh, Swampert. I have to name one Pokemon J Globes. I can do four Vex now. And if both 10th Meryl and, uh, or 10th, uh, Swampert and, uh, J Globes get knocked out, the other two Pokemon could also be vexatious. <laughs> we can very easily do that. But yeah, you also get votes, man, on the variety games list. Yeah, this week we're doing, uh, Punch-Out Wii, so... Don't put your votes towards that, because we're definitely already doing that game, no worries. Alright, this is when he told you to save, Banks. It's a good idea. Oh no, there's a difference between the save data! If you save, you'll lose your data, are you sure? Oh no! He did it! He saved his data! I tried to stop him! It's gonna be okay. Jglob says, if you find a slack off your first attempt, I'll put a uh, thousand bits in here. Yo, we'll see, man, we'll see. I think it's a, uh, what, a 5% chance for slack off in the forest? Yeah, we're, we're a little bit away from the forest. Alright, we said Mudkip. Yes. One Mudkip. Yo, Vexatious, thanks for the donation, man. I appreciate it. 
Yo, MVP over there. Infect says, for real though, Puchina. If we get far enough, a trappage. Otherwise, I'll speak up when something cool gets caught, if that's cool. Yeah, that works. That's easy peasy. So, one Puchina. Uh, we've caught a Puchina every single time so far, so I assume we will catch another Puchina. Trap inch? I've yet to see one of those, but we'll see. We'll see. And uh, Vex says, yo, Fire Red Generations is in there? Six votes to Generations. <laughs> that mod was mean. Oh man, is it really that bad? I know Catrolis has been saying that that, uh, that game keeps bopping him, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Gosh darn it, I said no again! <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. That's why That's why I made the save data. So, if I accidentally said no to naming the Mudkip, I could fix it this time. Because I did it right before I got the Pokemon. <laughs> that's why you saved. Yup. See, Cracker is with the assist. He knows what's what. Still no ETA on Mike Tyson? 9-0. Um, I was told I would be obtaining a, uh, some hardware to actually be able to play that on. That is yet to happen, but I'm not gonna be one of those guys that's like, hey, you said you were gonna send me this thing, are you, uh, are you gonna do that now? Hey, it's, it's been this many days, are you, are you gonna do it now? Like, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'll just wait. I'll just wait. It's not that big of a deal. It's not a race. Imagine you get a shiny for resetting all the time. Nah, then, uh, I've put, like, over 2,000 hours into this franchise. I have seen one shiny Pokemon in the wild, and it was Wizmer. It was the only one. Alright, mash only A this time, Vince. Only A. You're naming this Mudkip this time. Thanks for save the Mudkip. Oh, you're at it. Why not give it a nickname? There we go. Hmm. <laughs> this isn't gonna fit. <laughs> How about that? Does that work? It's missing an E. Are we okay with this? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, we're good. Fantastic. You, uh, blah, 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 I'm not reading that. Uh, Cracker says, I've seen two. Both were in Gen 6, so the odds were pretty easy. Yeah, that's fair. No, man. I just, I don't have luck when it comes to shiny Pokemon. I just don't. Like, I do have one shiny Pokemon, apparently, in Pokemon Quest. That yellow bell spread I was talking about was a shiny. I didn't know it was a shiny, because it didn't sparkle or anything. And, like, I really wasn't sure. I was like... Because, you know, they they look different the way they're modeled in um, Pokemon Quest. They're just a bunch of blocks, so I was like, are these, is this how he's supposed to look, or is this a shiny version? But yeah, no, it, it was all good. You had a red Rhyhorn in Fire Red? Is that the shiny color for Rhyhorn? Does he turn red? That's pretty cool. And uh, Vex says, my first shiny was a Nidoran female in gold before you got to the Lake of Rage. Oh, man, that's crazy, dude. Nah, man. I saw that red Gyarados, that was the first shiny I ever saw. But, um, you know, that's the same shiny everybody sees. Super Sincere caught a shiny Larvitar in Pokemon Go. Yo, nah, no shiny Pokemon in the Pokemon Go for me. To be fair, I've put next to no time in Pokemon Go. Very, very little. But, also, no shinies. I deserve the shinies. But nah, it's all good. When Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee comes out, obviously, that's where I'm gonna get all the shinies. And I have, like, a shiny, uh... I don't know, a shiny everything. <laughs> everything I catch shiny. Butterfree, shiny. Metapod, shiny. Oddish, also shiny. Geodude, absolutely shiny. Everything. Everything's gonna be shiny. And when everything's shiny, nothing will be. Something like that. We got a shiny Pichu and Ultra Sun. Yo, that's nice, man. And the shiny Rhyhorn is more of a copper brown. Oh, okay, okay. And Vex says, I was so confused being like eight years old and having no game knowledge about the game except red and blue. You couldn't figure out for the life of you why little stars popped up every time you used it, so you put it in the PC. And you abused uh, Missy Nose so much in red, shiny Pokemon scared you. Yeah, that, that makes sense. 
can understand that. Cause yeah, no, I didn't know that my Wismer was shiny. Cause like my team was already full by the time I caught it, so it just went to the PC and it stayed there forever. And like, I wasn't paying a lot of attention. So the first Wismer I saw, I assumed that's what a normal Wismer looked like. It wasn't until later where I was like, oh yeah, Wismers, Wismers are supposed to be pink. I didn't know that. No snap! <laughs> Doomsday with the host, let's go. Yeah, we're level 6. I feel like we can win the level 6 fight. Uh, Jago's was saying you're gonna play that for years. Oh, with the fire red, uh, generations. I'm down. If it's a cool game, I will play it. Absolutely, every time. Alright, I got one level advantage. Clearly! Clearly that means I can win. You know, Doomsday with the Ohio. How are you doing, Doomsday? Hopefully you're, uh... I believe you're playing uh, that tactics game, Into the Breach? Yeah, hopefully that was going good for you. See, I got bodied again. <sighs> I've been bodied so many times now, man. So many times, man. Not fun, man. I just want to play the game, man. But, you know, all of my, like, sadness aside, uh, I'll just quickly recap everyone that's wondering what I've lost to so far in this Nuzlocke. I have game over to Roxanne. I used Trico against her. I had this weird idea that Absorb, the super effective grass attack, would be useful in the rock type Pokemon. It just, you know, it was just tanking those. It didn't even care about the Absorbs. And uh, yeah, destroyed me in three rock slides. And then destroyed my Lotad in three rock slides. It was, uh, it was no good. But then, um, so yeah, that was the first time I game over. The second time was the Watson. We made it all the way to, you know, the third gym. And, uh, he, uh, he bodied me. He had more Pokemon than I realized he had. Because I was remembering Ruby and Sapphire and looking at the guide for that one. And yeah, nah, he had way more Pokemon than I was anticipating. By way more, I mean he had one more. And different Pokemon. He didn't have a Magnemite. And I was like, what's going on? And then the Magneton came out. I was like... But you didn't have the Magnemite, and then the Manetric came out. I didn't have anything for the Manetric. It was it was pretty bad. And uh, Dooms is saying if it's any consolation loss on the third island before beating all four, you're yeah, Ritman, Ritman. Cause yeah, you were trying to do all four instead of just going for the volcano. Were you playing on a different mode? Was that like hard mode or something, or were you using different troops, or is were you just? trying the third island for the first time. I don't know. I saw you were playing the game for a while. But then again, I don't know. I was playing that game for what felt like seven minutes and apparently five hours had passed. Oh, and hard every time? You're nice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so the first Pokemon, the first Pokemon on this Nuzlocke we will be catching is Wurmple. And, uh, I don't think anyone wanted to be named after the Wurmple. What should I name the Wurmple, guys? What are we What are we naming this? Oh, with a different squad each time. Nice, nice. That's cool. Yeah, I only unlocked the two squads. I wanted to try to get good with the um, with that weird. What is it? The like desert squad that creates the clouds. I like the idea, but I I just hadn't wrapped my mind around how to utilize them correctly. Remember Alpha Monsters, right? <laughs> More HP, damage, and range? Yo. Would they really be Alpha on hard if they weren't better? <laughs> By the fourth island, it's nothing but Alpha? Yeah, that's what the game said. It said it gets harder uh, per island that you do. Which is really cool, I like that. Because you can try it in so many different ways. So it doesn't have to be the same. And I mean, plus the missions do themselves change every single time. Finally, you're useful? Yo, gotta be useful. But what it, What am I naming this Bug? Did I name him? I mean, we've already done Buggy, Bugsy, and Bugs. Oh. It's, uh, I don't know if that'll fit, though. Um. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. That's fine. No problem. Bam. Oh, you wanted to be named after you? Alright, Jay Globes. I was gonna do Bugs Bunny, so I could have every sort of name that could possibly be with the word bug in it, but... Jay Globes needs to shine, and so it shall be. Yo, 
there it is. All right. You know, I'm hoping he grows up into a beautiful, beautiful eye. That would be great. That would be absolutely amazing. I'm so tired. I'm so tired, man. Of not having these beautiful eyes. I mean, a Dustox works too. A Dustox is a completely good Pokemon. If he can live long enough, man. He did not make it in the last Nuzlocke, and that was... That was so bad. We needed him. We needed him desperately. And oh, would you look at that! A Puchina on this route! It has only been a Puchina every single time! Who would have thought it would have been a Puchina again? Not me! And yo, Blessed by Cal's coming in with the move. How you doing? Alright, should I throw the Pokeball or try to put him in the red? Um... I only have two Pokeballs. I'm gonna go for the second Mud Slap. Don't crit? Okay. Oh, I know my luck is abysmal, so that was a pretty big risk going for that Mud Slap there, but... Again, I also only have two Pokeballs, so... And Vexatia says, oh look, it's Vexina! Good name for a Pokemon. Nature Insane, wait, what happened? I missed it. Brawly, dude. Brawly, man. Like, I got on to his, uh, Makuhita, his strongest Pokemon, and I'm like, alright, I don't have Mud Shot on my Marsh Stomp, let me just Mud Slap him, reduce his accuracy. He has this move called Vital Throw, I think it only has, like, 70 accuracy, so it's like, one, like, Mud Slap, and he will never hit me, man, he'll never hit me. And then, he bulked up three times, and swept my whole team, never missing, even though I Mud Slapped him three times, I think four, actually. But yeah, he, he was just not about the whole missing thing. <laughs> or a Pooch Vexna? No, I'm going with the first one. The first one was cool. Where's the end? There it is. Yeah, Vexchina. Wait, am I missing a letter? I am. I'm missing an H. <laughs> Spelling is really hard, guys. Especially when you're like trying to pay attention, but also, like, chat's kind of distracting. Okay, let's go heal. That's that's what we're doing first. Gotta heal. Oh, and Bless saying pretty good. Back from Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, nice! I'm guessing you're playing Duel Links? I see Vex mention it. Cause yeah, Duel Links is pretty sweet. Or, were you, like, at an event playing Duel Links? Or maybe one of the other games? I mean, either way, as long as it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Good stuff. Wait, no, I should catch the Pokemon for this route first. Yo, give me Lotet. Give me Lotet. Give me Lotet. Give me Lotet. That is another Puchina. We are not catching that. This is Duplicate Claws Nuzlocke. Get out of here, Puchina. Oh, you're at a tournament? Yo, nice! How'd the tournament go? Yeah, I haven't played in a tournament for a card game in like years. I used to do, um, Magic the Gathering, though. I have never done an actual Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. I've done Pokemon tournaments, like, way back in the day, like, when I was really young. Did Magic the Gathering tournaments. Never Yu-Gi-Oh, though. I mean, obviously, most of my tournaments are, like, uh, fighting games. Like, Street Fighter 4, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Ultimate Marvel, uh, Smash Brothers Brawl, Wii U. Even did 3DS for a little bit. Uh, Doom 2 was saying the tank pulls things instead of pushing, and the artillery launched a giant rock that dealt 2 damage and knocked the sides away. Oh, that's interesting. I like the different, different, yeah, differences in the squads. Not the word I was looking for, but it's the word that happened. Uh, Vexane, without the H, it would have been pronounced Vexina, and assumedly followed by trumpets. This is fair. Zigzagoon, that's the Pokemon, alright. Oh boy, you know I love Zigzagoons, they're my favorite. Oh man, Lotad? Psh, get that out of here. Who wants a Lotad on this route? Or a Ralts? Is Ralts on this route? But yeah, nah, nobody wants that trash. Everybody wants a Zigzagoon. I also just realized I forgot to buy Pokeballs. Yes! <laughs> that would have been a little salty if I didn't catch them. I don't plan on really using them, but... You know, Cyclone in here, so thanks. How goes the singing practice? <laughs> oh, yeah! 
Uh, when did you want me to do that, Cyclone? I don't remember if you ever decided on a time. Cause yeah, I'll, I'll do it, man. I gotta follow through. I just I just need to know the time. Is he fat? I don't think Zigzagoon's a very fat Pokemon. Uh, Zigzagoon's your least favorite Pokemon because it looks like raccoons. Yeah, nah, no, raccoons, uh, I don't mind them too much. I just don't like Zigzagoon. He's the Rattata of Hoenn. It is what it is. I don't like Bidoof. I don't like Sentret. I mean, Sentret's design's kind of cool, but I still would never use a Sentret. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll just call him Radita. That'll work. Alright, let's move you to the front. Go buy Pokeballs. Heal. And we'll be good to go. Cyclone says, well, how soon would you want to attempt the challenge? Um... I don't know, I feel like, I feel like Tuesday would be a good day. I feel like Tuesday would be the right moment. Beck's saying, if Fangstall has to sing a song, I nominate the Poke Rap, but taken super seriously. Nah, uh, it's, uh, Jump Up Superstar, whatever it's called. The song from Super Mario Odyssey. That's the song I have to sing. It's a challenge now? <laughs> I mean, call it whatever you will. Gotta sing the song. Uh, Cyclone said it would be most appropriate if Mario is being played. How about trying out Triple Bingo? Wait, what? What, what is Triple Bingo? What, what do you mean? What are, what are you saying? <laughs> Doomsday is half tempted to sing it on stream. Yo, go for it, Doomsday! Yeah, you go sing that Jump Up Superstar, man. Yo, know, record it, put it on YouTube. You know, it'll go, it'll go viral real fast, man. It's like, look at this guy. He's got those, um, oh, uh, what, what do they call it? Like, what phrase do they use to say someone's, like, good at singing? I don't know, golden vocal cords? I don't know. They'll say you got the gold stuff. It'll be great. Yup, just like Numa Numa. It'll be just as good. It'll be great. Millions of views. You'll be able to retire early. You'll just be rolling in that YouTube money. <laughs> maybe not, but maybe so. Nah, man, you'll be the you'll be the next. Uh, what was it called? Um, it's like, I mean, yeah, you're just going over an old song. I mean, it's not that old, but it's not an original new song. But. It'll be just as good as- oh, Gangnam Style, that's what I was looking for. It'll be just as good as Gangnam Style. I mean, yeah, it's not fresh and unique, because it's, you know, you're singing the song from a game, but, nah, man, clearly, you're gonna do it so well. It's just gonna catch on, man, super viral. Might want to wait for that YouTube partnership first. Yeah, that, that would be a little unfortunate, you know, if you're not partnered. And so you don't have like ads running on it, or like there are ads, but you don't get any of the money for that. That'd be kind of lame. But uh, it's it's tough, man. You know, you gotta start somewhere. You gotta start somewhere. The <laughs> voice of angels. Yeah, there we go. Voice of angels. I mean, when I look at Doomsday, he seems like the kind of guy that would secretly have the voice of an angel when he starts singing. But, you know, there's a lot of people like that, right? Where like. They're just talking, and it doesn't sound that impressive, but then they start singing, and it's like, oh my goodness. Wow, where where did they find this this heavenly voice? Like, where is that coming from? I'm sure it'll be like that. And yo, Ashande's in here saying, what's good, Banks? Nothing much. Just getting wrecked in Pokemon. I uh, keep losing. But, clearly, I have learned from all of my mistakes, and I can only win now. And I'll make no more mistakes ever again. For real, for sure. d -Train says, I could actually see Doomsday singing Numa Numa. <laughs> yeah, nah, that sounds pretty legit. <laughs> it's called not being tone deaf? I don't know, I don't think not being tone deaf is like, good enough to be all the virals. But, I have faith in you, man. Yo, who else? Like, who can actually sing in here? Who can actually sing in chat? Like, all memes aside. Who is a good singer? 
<laughs> Obviously, I'm not. But, you know, I'm sure there's some people in here. You died for no more mistakes, yo. No more mistakes. Never again. I'm not gonna die to Roxanne, because I got the Mudkip. I'm not gonna die to uh, Brawly, because we're gonna level up J-Globes here, my Wurmple. And he's gonna evolve into something amazing. Either a Dustox or a Beautifly. Either one. It's time for resistance to fighting type attacks. And a super effective attack to throw into those uh, fighting types. So... We'll be good. And then, um, for the third gym leader, again, we have Mudkip, who will learn Mudshot this time. We're gonna learn Mudshot instead of accidentally overleveling, and we will be fine. Fine, 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 fine. I should really make sure I fight the gym trainers earlier than later, because I always fight them late, and I'm continually disappointed when I overlevel. I don't want to do that. Ah, oh, Super Potion. Fancy that. Vex says, get a few drinks in me, and I sing just fine. Yep. Newsday thinks he can sing. Jayglo says, let me get a mic, and I'll rap. <laughs> Yo, let's go, man. Yo, let's go. Man, I have rapped maybe two times in my entire life, and never freestyle, because I, I never could. <laughs> I, I have no singing ability. But um, I had to do that once in, like, elementary school. Or was it middle school? No, I think it was elementary school. Yeah, it had to have been, because that was uh, when Donkey Kong 64 came out. Because I was going to do the DK rap, and then my mom was like, that's lame, you should do real rap. And I'm like, I don't know any real rap. And she's like, I got you. And she just pulled out, like, all these different things, man, all these different songs. I don't know who any of these people were. I wasn't really into music as a kid. Yeah, I, I, I did some, some rap. I can't remember. Oh, man, some 90s rap. Everybody in my class thought it was cool, but... <laughs> like, I have to do that because I can't actually, like, sing. Uh, Vex says, I actually do spoken word and slam poetry, but that's not singing. That's really cool, though. And, uh, Blessed was saying, then we die at the best time. <laughs> Rayquaza? Yo, I don't want to die to Rayquaza. Oh, that would be, that would be super lame. Rekker saying, Vex can't even sing the rap on stream because family friendly. <laughs> Yo, the rap that I was singing in elementary school. Uh, I did have to, like, alter some of the words. Cause, like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I was using the word, like, fool, and, uh, what was the other one? I don't know. But yeah, I did change the words around, cause, like, there were square words in the song originally. Which, <laughs> like, obviously, you know, how old was I? I, th I had to have been in, like, the fourth or fifth grade. And so, like, they didn't phase me very much, but it's not like I was gonna say them in class. Yeah, no, that would be that would be very Nazi. I would get in trouble, which is the opposite of what I want. What I want is a good grade. That is why I was learning this stupid rap in the first place. And uh, Ashande says the only rap I know by heart is Mega Ran. I listen to a lot of old school hip hop. Yo, that's cool. Nah, no, I can always appreciate that. It's like I don't know any of the new stuff. I don't know most of the old stuff either, but I know more old stuff than I know new stuff. Yeah, I mostly just don't listen to music in general. Like, all the music I know, like, all the hip-hop and rap that I know of is all stuff that my mom would listen to. And she was really into that. But says, I do, I do not know any words. <laughs> what is words? Yo, words are hard. You know, Ashande is saying old stuff. <laughs> greater than, greater than, greater than, greater than, greater than, greater than, greater than new stuff. Let's be real. I'd have to agree. Um, I don't, again, I mostly just don't listen to a lot of, like, mainstream music. Like, for me, if I want to listen to music. Let's see, I have, like, a playlist, like, right now. I listen to Sonic Colors, uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, Undertale, Mega Man X, Chrono Trigger, Killer Instinct, uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, Mega Man X 3, Breath of Fire 1, Breath of Fire 2, Earthworm Jim 2, uh, Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, Shantae Half Genie Hero, Bloodstained, uh, Tower of Heaven. <laughs> Those are all like soundtracks that I listen to. I don't listen to mainstream music very much. But of the like rap music and stuff I used to listen to when I heard that, I was like, oh, okay, you know, this has a good beat to it or something, or you know, like I like what they're saying. Like it's either like funny or it's like topical or it's it's entertaining in some way. Versus a lot of the new stuff now, man. 
a lot of the new stuff now, like, it's just so... Garbage? Like, there's a lot of words I could use, but I'll just go with garbage, man. And Sean Dai saying, have you heard of Nerdcore? I've never heard of the phrase Nerdcore before, but I assume that's like a combination of like rap music or like just hip hop or whatever and like video game music. And I've heard things like that before. I don't go out of my way to find it, but I've been to a few video game tournaments and they just had music playing that was like a combination of hip hop and uh, video game music. I got it right? Okay, okay. Yeah, I was, <laughs> that's all I can assume it was. I, I wasn't too sure. Ow! Why you gotta, why you gotta do all that? Why you gotta use Absorb and stuff, man? I am just a Mudkip and I'm poisoned and this is way too much for me. Jayglobe, save me. SAVE ME JAYGLOBES! I NEED YOU TO SAVE ME! DO WHAT NEEDS TO BE DONE! Oh, now you wanna use Tackle. You don't wanna use, you don't wanna use stupid all Absorb anymore? You jerk. Nerdcore is your aesthetic, to be honest. Yeah, that's fair. Like, uh, it's pretty good. <laughs> what am I doing? Not dying to a shroomish. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Send you in, yo, you got this, man. You got this. Get out of here, shroomish. Yep, easy peasy, man. CJ Globes has got this. Might not be as high level as a uh, Tin Swampert, man, but got the job done. But yeah, no, there is a really good chance between the absorb and the uh, poison, I was probably gonna die. So we had to get out of there. I don't wanna die. It's, uh, it's not any good. Not any good. <laughs> Trust in Vexgina? Nah, man. That Vexgina was not gonna get the job done. It was just gonna get absorbed. It's like, what, level 3? 4? What level is it? It's level 2. <laughs> Excuse me. I overestimated its strength. Not die until I avenge the Mudkip. Yeah, that's good. I mean, Mudkip's not dead yet, so... Gotta hang in there. Yeah, I really, really want this Wormpole to beat Brawly for me. Like, that is just the answer, man. It's so free. If I get a Wormpole, all the way there, it's either a Beautifly, or it's a Dustox, that's either Wing Attack or Gust. It's one of those. It's either a Flying-type attack, or it's Confusion. Either one of those, super effective. So good. I need that. I need that in my life. You just need to raise him. It's just he's not useful for like ever. I mean, maybe when I get to like the third gym, but that's overkill. And like even then, I say overkill, but it's mostly just like more stats going around. He's really not that good for the third gym. The fourth gym, definitely. Definitely, I gotta level up the Puccina by the fourth gym, but like. Just so, you know, I have more level of Pokemon, I don't keep him at level 2 forever. But like, for the first gym, he's useless. He can't hit rocks. He, he can't do it. There's <laughs> nothing about Puccina that beats rocks. And then in the second gym, he's a dark type, and they use fighting type attacks! He would die in one hit! And then for the third gym, it's just his stats are so low. His defensive stats are so low. So we can like maybe take one hit and then I have to swap him right back out. And it's like, oh, we could have evolved him so he has Intimidate. And it's like, what good is Intimidate when they're using electric type attacks? Which in this generation can only be special. And <laughs> yo, Jayglo with the 100 bit saying, like me, yo, man. Because yeah, no, the Puccina, the Puccina I'm not in love with right now. But this Wurple, though, this Wurple is the chosen one. The destiny bringer. That's what we'll call him. How's my HP? Oh, we're good. All right. Yeah, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna catch another Pokemon. Oh yeah, this guy wants to talk to me. But yo, Jayglobes, thanks for the 100 bits, man. Yo, way too nice. Oh yeah, that's right. You get to put five votes to something, Jayglobes, on the variety games list. Is there anything on there you want to put a vote to? Let me just uh, get that real quick. Oh, whoops, I was gonna switch the Pokemon so that, uh, I can catch with something else. It's a Pochita! Oh boy, you wanna catch another one of those? <laughs> no, no I don't. Duplicate Claws, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna catch another dumb Pochita. I mean, 
Vexatious is an amazing Puchina, and I'm sure he will be very useful throughout the whole run, and we will never die to Watson again, even though we've died to him twice. It will never happen. Totally not. Yeah, you can see J Globe's bits in the uh, in the uh, like top tiers. He's done 502 bits, man. 502. Got that gold badge. Oh, the mod, the fire red generations. All right, sounds good. Oh, it's a Meryl. Yo, let's go. I mean, I already have a water type Pokemon, but Meryl is a pretty cool Pokemon, so I'm going to catch it. Going to catch it. Coming with me. Let's go. Let's go, Meryl. Yo, I don't know what the odds of Meryl are, but they can't be too big, man. I would have loved... Oh, Alacrit. I would have loved to get, uh, Wingle. I don't know where Wingle is! I swear Wingle's on, like, all of the routes in Ruby and Sapphire. But I haven't encountered a single Wingle since I've been playing Emerald. Not a single one. Probably just all these Puccinas, man. They're getting in the way of my Wingles. Because I bet... That route that I keep catching Puchina on, if I remember right, that's where I would always catch my Wingles back in the day. <laughs> Pokemon's literally the top three spots on the game list. Emerald, Black 2, White 2, and Fire Red. Well, Emerald doesn't count, because that's just the game I chose. I forgot to buy Pokeballs! Oh, no! Oh, not like this! I, I told myself, I said, you do this, and then you use the Pokemon Center, and then you go buy Pokeballs. And then Vexen, his super amazing genius, decided not to buy any Pokeballs. And it's John Day quoting, no more mistakes. Oh, man. Man. Meryl's such a good Pokemon, though. Such a good Pokemon, man. Ugh. It's like it wasn't going to be useful against Watson. But it would have been good against Roxanne. Not that I think I'd need it, because I have, you know, Mudkip, but like, you know, in case things go south, I would have had a Mudkip. It would have been nice. It would have been good against, you know, Flannery. Would have had two water type Pokemon. It would have been cool. Could have had huge power. Would have been a really, really good, really good Meryl. <sighs> What's the quote add macro? It is. Quote, add, all one word, and then whatever you want the quote to be. Obviously you need the exclamation mark in front of quote add, but yep, quote, add, all one word. <laughs> yep, there we go. Quote 268 successfully added. Uh, I thought I bought the Pokeballs, guys. I thought I bought the Pokeballs! Ugh, I always buy the Pokeballs! It's like the first thing I do when I get to like the town right before this. But this time, I forgot to buy them. I told myself to buy them too, but I guess I got distracted. Oh, I'm so sad! That Meryl would have been great! That's okay, that's okay. It'll be fine. It'll be dandy! We'll have all sorts of other awesome Pokémon, for sure. Level 6? Nah. Not enough of a level advantage to win that fight. I don't- I don't do even fights, man. Gotta be to my advantage. Seems they saying, Banks, of all the things for you to lack, Pokéballs isn't one of them. I forgot to buy the Pokeballs. Completely forgot. Yeah, J Globes. The bot doesn't like the word hate or hates. It's just not a fan. Should be running around with ton with a ton of them. I usually am. I have every single other time. Every single other time, man. I've been all about it. But this one time, I forget to buy the Pokeballs. Forgot to buy the Pokeballs. Because I don't I don't really buy anything else. 
I only buy Pokeballs, and then it's like, okay, I have like 30 Pokeballs, I don't need anything else. Let me grab a couple of Paralyzed Eels, a couple of Antidotes, but didn't buy the Pokeballs. Listen, this shop shouldn't mean you're out. I mean, like, I, I went past two shops. There were two Pokemarks. I walked right past both of them. When I walked past the first one, I reminded myself, hey, Vinks, go heal, and then when you're done healing, buy the Pokeballs. But I think that's when we started talking about, like, who is good at singing, and then, like, I forgot. I forgot, man. And then I just kept chucking all them Pokeballs, man, because I remember I was fighting, uh, who was it? I was fighting the Zigzagoon, right? And I was like, man, I I only have two Pokeballs. I better do this just right. And then, you know, and then I didn't I didn't buy any Pokeballs after that. Didn't buy any Pokeballs. Feels really bad, man. Feels really bad. It's not a mistake I usually make. You got this? Yeah, you got this, J Globes. I believe in you. But, um, Wurple's just a bug type, right? It's not poison type? Let me look that up. Wurple, are you a poison type or are you pure bug? Because I think you're pure bug. I want to say it is. Yep, pure bug, okay. So yeah, I, I don't get stabbed on poison sting, I'm pretty sure. No, I know that tackle is the more damaging attack out of the two. But I wanted that poison on there, man. The poison really helps. Give me the XP. Give me your XP. Ah, you'll be alright, Fisher guy. And then... Oh, <laughs> let me not pass up free orange berries. Excuse me. And what is this, Pekka berries? Yeah, Pekka berries are really good. They cure poison. Yeah, I don't have any antidotes at the moment, so having some Pekka berries is good. Alright, lady, what do you want to do? What do you want to do, lady? Lady Cindy with the zigzagoon. No, I'm not scared. Um, and by that I mean this isn't a fight for him. A lot of XP from a magic card? Yeah, 37 XP. That's, uh, not the worst. I'm cool with that. I mean, he was level 9, so kind of makes sense. Alright, Zigzagoon, you're going down. Full Restore girl? Yeah, she likes to use that Full Restore. She's rich. Can afford to just throw around items like that. But she didn't do it in time. Yeah, there we go. 45 XP per. Not too bad. See you later! Alright, we get to catch another Pokemon over here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? So I bought Pokeballs, so... Nope, it's not Puccina. We already have a Puccina. Yeah, duplicate claws, no Puccina. Alright. And then... Puccina again! Puccina, get out of here! We already have the Vex Puccina. We don't need a second Puccina. No, go away. Alright, let's just fight this guy. We'll catch our Pokemon later. Yeah, I think he has like three Wurmples? No, four Wurmples, excuse me. Yeah, Wurmple versus Wurmple. Yo, back in the day, I'm pretty sure Bug resisted poison. Yeah, that was Gen 1, right? I think they both resisted? Or are they both super effective? Maybe I have it backwards. I'm pretty sure Poison resists Bug. And yo, Catrullus is in here saying, Yo, thanks, a new run? Get good! Dude, you naming all the Pokemons after followers? Where is the fighting type? Don't make promises you can't keep, Vinx. Well... Um, actually... We did catch a fighting type Pokemon! And we named it Catrullus! And, uh... <laughs> that run died! <laughs> to Brawly! Like, uh, 30 minutes ago. I killed you? <laughs> Banks, why did you betray me? I tried! I tr I didn't want to lose the gym fight. I didn't want to game over. Like, I thought, I thought with Makuhita at level 19 
and we had Marsh Stomp at level 19. I was like, this will be fine, this will be dandy. But nah, Marsh Stomp just didn't have the damage. Just didn't have the damage, man. If I would have if I would have leveled up correctly, I would have had Mud Shot. I would have had the damage to win the fight. Or if I had had my Dust Stocks, that would have been very useful too. <laughs> Thanks, why I feel betrayed. I didn't try to... It was going to be so useful, I was going to use him against the Magneton on Watson. It would have been super effective with the Arm Thrust. You should have seen the Arm Thrust. It was, it was a really nice move. But... <sighs> yeah, we didn't we didn't get to keep it. Or it says, I'm not in this generation. Also, I don't want to get wrecked by Vanks and this lack of good. Yo, look. The more attempts we go through the Nuzlocke, the better we get, man. We understand the game at a deeper level, man. At a deeper level, it'll be fine. And your J-Globe says, don't worry, I'll avenge you. Yeah, no, like, that's the plan. We're gonna use J-Globes. We're gonna take him against Brawly. Like, cause regardless, if we are a Silcoon, a Cascoon, doesn't matter, man. Times four resistance to fighting type attacks, it'll be fine. It'll be easy, actually. Cause yeah, the last time we beat Brawly, we did use a Beautifly. So, like, that is the way, man. It's either about the Combuskin or it's about the, uh, the Beautifly, man. That's how I've been Brawly so far. One of those two Pokemon. And Doctor says, the more attempts, the better you get after a run that just died in the second gym. You, you, look, 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 look. He got lucky, Tense Doctor. He got really, really lucky. I mud slapped that guy three to four times. And he was using his Vital Throw, which is only like 70 or 80 accuracy, and that's before the accuracy reductions. He cheated. He totally cheated, man. He should not have been able to hit me. Alright, here we go. Silcoon or Cascoon? Silcoon or Cascoon? I'm guessing Silcoon. I'm guessing it's gonna be Silcoon. Show me the Silcoon! I wanna see it! And... That's Silcoon. <laughs> we did it! Yo, I called it, man. I called it. Tro says, just admit it, Banks. Fighting type's OP. Yo, oh, man. Look, it's this Pokemon Emerald, right? Because in Ruby and Sapphire, they are nowhere near as tough as they are in this game. He gets the extra healing items. He gets the stupid moves. Yeah, let me let me double check this before I look like a fool, man. Let me, let me see his Sapphire team. Yeah, in Sapphire, he's lower level. He has Bulk Up, Arm Thrust, Sand Attack, and Knock Off. Yeah, nah, he is way, way easier in Ruby and Sapphire. Because he has less... Yeah, he doesn't have the Held Item. He doesn't have this stupidly good Citrus Berry. And yeah, like, his strongest move is Arm Thrust. He doesn't have the dumb old Vital Throw. He should not have Vital Throw that low level. But that's just how Emerald is. And yeah, he has stupid Knock Off, man. Stupid Knock Off. Haha! <laughs> since he was training, what did you expect him to do between games? Yo, Emerald does not take place after Ruby and Sapphire. It takes place at the same time. It's a different universe. Clearly, clearly, he just cheats in this universe. Why else would he have Vital Throw? He's a super cheater. Stupid Vital Throw, man. He swept my whole team with Vital Throw. And, like, how did he land it? That's what I'm still wondering, man. How did he land the Vital Throws? Alright, we're not catching Wurmple. We already have a Wurmple. Yeah, Vital Throw. Oh, wait, no. Hmm, maybe I was looking at the wrong thing. It says his accuracy is... Nothing? Vital Throw bypasses accuracy checks to always hit. Oh. I was thinking of a different attack. Okay, that explains why he kept hitting me. He can't miss. He can't miss. It's, uh, why, why is there a fighting type Swift with more power? I mean, yeah, his negative priority, but that's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. Uh, Katroni says, also, I just got to watch the, hmm, of multiple grown men, or as most people call it, professional wrestling. Oh, you're watching professional wrestling. That's cool. How was that, man? <laughs> vital throw is vital to victory. Yo, man, it's it's not a bad move. Yo, I am losing this fight with my two level advantage. Can I get the poison? No, nah, I should just tackle because I I can't land poisons. Wait, is Silcoon not a poison type? I thought I was, and I'm poisoned. 
If that Shed Skin kicks in, though, I should be good. Yeah, nah, Silcoon's pure bug. I'm not gonna win this fight. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna win it. Let's just switch. Just switch. As if Swift would be the only infinite accuracy move? I mean, I don't expect that. There's other, uh, moves that just bypass the accuracy checks. I, I can't remember what they all are off the top of my head. But, uh, they're usually pretty low base power. Like, that's the trade-off for having, you know, accuracy in all situations. Like, Swift just hits. It's like, it doesn't care. Like, oh, are you double team teaming? Am I sand attacked? Are you, like, flying right now? I'm pretty sure Swift hits fly, I think. I don't think Final Throw can hit fly. That would, that would be weird. It'd be really weird. <laughs> yeah, sorry, man. We couldn't keep you in. Not when you got poisoned, man. If the shed skin, the shed skin ability only has a 33% chance of going off. That didn't say get ahead of yourself, naming your starter after its final evolution in the Nuzlocke. <laughs> hey, Tenth Doctor wanted the name, so I put it in there. I would have named him Tenth Mudkith, <laughs> but uh, no, no, no. Tenth Doctor knows. He knows the truth. We'll clearly get far enough that Mudkip will become a fully evolved Swamper. As Tenth Doctor knows, I've done so many attempts at Emerald now. I'm so good at the game, like, I can only win now. I can only win. Like, who's gonna stop me? Roxanne? Nah, man, I'm water. I'm water type, dude. And I got water gun, that's stab. I'll knock her out in like three, four attacks, because that nose pads has such high special defense. It's crazy. Like, I wish it would only take me like two water guns, but no. <laughs> no, it, it takes more. It takes more than two water guns to take out that stupid nose pass. Control says, can only win, I fully expect defeat. Nah, 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 Controlius. It'll be dandy, it'll be fine, man, I'm telling you. It'll be perfectly fine. Seems they're saying, well, at least you have above average odds, although that doesn't say much. Wait, what were we talking about? I've already forgotten. Oh, about winning? I can only win. I am the champion of winning. Like, I've tried to show up to, like, tournaments for losing, and I'm like, sorry, only losers here. We can't have these super champions coming by that just win everything. And so they wouldn't let me join, man. I just, I don't even know about, like, definition of losing. I tried to look it up in a dictionary once, but... I couldn't do it. Every time I looked up loser, it just swapped to win. A <laughs> champion of winning lost to the second gym leader. Well, look, I may be a champion of winning, but, like, it doesn't count if they cheated. If they cheated, it doesn't count. That's not a loss. That's a cheat. Clearly, them cheating. James says, when are you getting bodied in Smash? Um... I assume, like, the next time I, like, pick up the Wii U and I'm like, alright, this is a... Well, no, this isn't a GameCube controller, but there is there is a GameCube controller, and I, I try to use that, and I push the buttons, and I'm like, which one of these does what again? Then I'll probably get bodied a little bit. But, after that, then, you know, I'll never be bodied again. I'll remember all the things. Highly practice in losing? What? When's the last time I've ever lost in anything? Like, literally, ever. Globe says, yeah, champion of winning, champion of cheating. Yeah, I'm a champion of winning, and Brawly is a champion of cheating. Earlier today? When did I lose today? I, I don't remember doing anything like that. An hour ago, apparently? Yo, look, look, if you're referring to Brawly, we've been over this, he cheated. Cheats don't count as losses. You lost your memory? Yo, <laughs> my memory... You know, it just chooses to do whatever it wants to do, man. Sometimes it shows up, sometimes it doesn't. It is what it is. You know, EWF Nor says, Dang, my host ain't showing up. You had like five people host? Yo, thanks for the host, EWF Nor. Yeah, it's not showing up because you hosted me earlier. So it's like, ah, you're you're just trying to spam the notification, aren't you? It, it doesn't know that you were actually, you know, trying to help me out. Which, by the way, thank you for that. And everybody, oh, snap, yo, Controlius. Gifting the tier 1 sub to EWF Nor. Yo, there we go. Yo. Petroleus, the MVP forever and always. 
<laughs> I never had a memory to begin with, yo. Not really. Like, we're gonna be 100% real here. I never had a memory, like, even as a small child, man. What did you eat for breakfast for, uh, breakfast today, Vinks? Uh, I don't know. Hey, Vinks, did you remember to do your homework? Homework? Oh, yeah! No, no, no. No, man. If I, if I didn't do my homework at school, I just didn't do it. Which is why I always did my homework at school, because I, I wasn't going to remember to do it. So I just do it as soon as the teacher gave it to me. And some of my teachers would, like, get so upset about it. And it's like, why are you upset? I'm doing my work. Let me do my work. I just want good grades. That's all I want. Because, look, I, I have a lot of trouble with remembering things, so I use workarounds to get past that. One of those, like, when I was in school, was just doing my work at school. Where do you get the substitute emote from? That is a good question. It's not from me, that's not my emote. Let's see, that is Tom Fox apparently? Yeah, Tom Fox has a lot of good emotes, if I remember right. Yo, Control is putting the five votes to Chrono Cross. Yo, Chrono Cross is such a good game, man. I'm looking forward to playing that. It's like, I haven't played it in like, over a decade? But when I did, like, again, I was really young. I was also kind of playing Diablo 2 at the time, so I, could, I would switch between the games. And yo! Five prideful bits. With the fake sub plus five bits. Hey, man, the sub is a sub. You came in, gave me the host. Catrolius was like, well, that clearly deserves a sub. Yo, all the support. Thank you very much, EWF Nora. I appreciate it. And yeah, there we go. There's the fuck. Uh, yeah, Fox Emotes. Yeah, Tom Fox is a weird name. I've never watched this person stream, I, I don't know who they are. Uh, Controlly says you may play Chrono Cross eventually? Oh, for sure. Like, I'm pretty sure it's really high up there on the games list, isn't it? Yeah, like, Punch-Out Wii, we had to do that one, because it's really high up there, and it has, like, it's like a five hour game or something like that. Well, it says five hours. Watch it take me like 11 to 12 hours, like both the other games did. And Bean Jr. says a sub is a sub. You can't say it's only half a sub. <laughs> Yo, Bean Jr. in here with the memes. Let's go. You have to catch this? Wait, catch what? What was I supposed to catch? Did I run into a Pokemon? You can catch Pokemon on this route? What was I supposed to catch? Was it back in, uh... The forest? Oh yeah, I was supposed to catch something for the forest, wasn't I? I never caught anything, did I? Uh, Chrono Cross is currently second? Oh, okay. What did I... What did I run away from? The Cascoon? Oh, the Cascoon, that doesn't count, man. That's... That's the same species. It's still Wurple, but yeah, thanks for the reminder, I need to catch something here. Failed to get the Meryl? I did fail to get the Meryl. There's, there's nothing, nothing on that route. Yeah, Silcoon and Cascoon are all part of the Wurmple species, so... None of them, but I should be able to catch either a Shroomish, or a Slackoff here, or a Talo. Those are all catchable here, I believe. And that's a Poochino, oh boy! Oh man! Uh, EW Fnor says I would sub to you normally, but my PayPal doesn't let me spend money. Only receive? Yeah, nah. That's completely understandable. I, I know the life, man. The struggle. I mean, I can pay with my PayPal now, but back in the day, I couldn't in the past. Gosh darn it, Wormpole, let me, let me go. What about a Puccina? I already have a Puccina. Wormpole, please. Are you serious? I'm higher level than you! I'm evolved! Let me go! No! Why are you like this? Why are you doing this, man? Stupid Wurmple, I'm just trying to do things. He's like, no, you have to fight me. I don't want to fight you. Go away. And <laughs> you know, being Jr. with the host here. Thanks for the host, man. Betrayal incoming. Stupid Wormful Man. <laughs> Jay Globes says, don't go away, let me fight! <laughs> no, Jay Globes. 
You're poisoned at half health. The Whirlpool could crit at any moment. It's not safe. I'm not letting you die, Jade Globes. I can't afford to. I need you. I need you for the second gym. I'm not beating the second gym without my fully evolved uh, Wurmple men. Alright, so we're both poisoned. Uh, 11, alright. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. <laughs> we're not gonna make it. <laughs> we're not gonna make it. No, I don't wanna look at the Pekka Berry. Give it, give it to Jay Globes. Alright, 17. We can make that one. Uh, I don't want to cut through the grass. <laughs> I'm not going to make it because I'm cutting, or not cutting through the grass. Would you stop looking at all the berries? Why is that the top thing, man? I just want to use it. Oh, stupid poison, man. Poison's so annoying. Alright, uh, Catrolli says, not beating the second gym. You don't have to say anything after that, Vinks. No, I am beating the second gym. Do you, ha do you have any idea how free the second gym is with Beautifly? Beautifly is so free. You double resist fighting type attacks because you are a flying type and a bug type Pokemon. So those attacks are going to do nothing. And uh, Brawly, he loves to use bulk up. He loves using bulk up, which is just a waste of a turn. Or I can just gust, 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 gust. And that's stab because I'm a flying type Pokemon. So I'm going to get in there. Going to get in there. Going to body him. Going to be great. I'm telling you, you got to believe. Got to believe. <laughs> the second gym is free to me. It is free! It is absolutely free. As long as you have a Beautifly or a Dustox, it is a free gym. You can't lose. You cannot lose. This isn't like stupid, uh, stupid old Generation 1, right? This isn't Generation 1. I can't just Gen 1 miss all my gusts. Yo, you gotta go to sleep, EWF? Yo, get that sleep. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Get good? Will do, I promise you. No worries. Alright, no more Puccinas. Right, come on, Shroomish. Come on, Shroomish. Come on, Shroomish. It's a pretty good Pokemon, man. I, I would really like the Shroomish. I mean, Slackhoff's okay, but... I mean, Taylor would be good, too. Like, I wouldn't use Taylor for the gym, because it's normal flying type. But, like, it's something. Here, I can use it somewhere. And I can at least fly around. So that's something. How many Puccinas in a row is that? Ah! Come on! Whatever! I'm just gonna tackle him. Oh, no, you can use Hell. I don't know. He howls too many times. Because I'm not the hardest... Oh, 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 no, I got a crit. We're good. <laughs> We're good. And, uh, even if he crits me, he shouldn't one-hit me. Shouldn't one-hit me with a crit. I don't believe that's the case. And he's gonna go for the triple howl. Now I think he could one-hit me crit for the win. I think he could after the triple howl. But ran out of HP. You can't win the fight at zero HP. Not exactly. True, miss, true, miss, true, miss, true, miss. True, <laughs> Come on! Where is the shroomish? Where are you at? Where you at, bub? Sleep is awesome and always fun? I would I would have to agree with that. Sleep is pretty good. Sleep is pretty great. Oh, you only know Harden. Ugh. Vix knows all about what happens at zero HP. I, I wish I didn't. Alright, that's a lot of hardens. Let's go ahead and switch to Poison Sting, try to get that poison. But I mean, like, the poison's not too good. Okay, that crit was nice. But, like, even if I land the poison, Shed Skin can get rid of it. One out of three chance. And yeah, I only have a 20% chance to land poison, which is, like, one out of five poison stings. Charlie says, Vinx, I will give you a small amount of faith. If you catch a shroomish, name it after me, okay? Alright, I got you. I got you, Catrolius. I'm gonna catch a Shroomish. I'm gonna be named after Catrolius. It'll be the best Shroomish the world has ever seen. Alright, level 9. That's good. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes. Still need to catch the Pokemon here. 
<sighs> Shroomish, please. Alright, I can run away from the Wurmple now, right? Because I'm level 9? Got away safely. And before he kills it by accident? Yo, I hope not. I mean, we'll see. I have Pokeballs. Should be good. Yo, Super Sin Slayer with the take luck. Yo, gotta take the luck, man. I need it. And uh, Controller says, Because Shroomish evolves into Breloom, which is a fighting type. This is true. You are absolutely correct. And yo, Breloom's such a good Pokemon. Doesn't it learn uh, Spore? Which is like 100 accuracy sleep? That's so good. That's so good, dude. I would love to have that on my team. Yes, sir. Gotta catch that Shroomish first, though. But you know, maybe I'll just run into a million Puchinas instead! Just as good, yeah? It's like, there's better places to level up at. I, I'm not trying to grind here, I just want to catch the Shroomish. Or or the stupid slack off or whatever it's called, man. I'll catch, I'll catch it. Just show up, man. Or the Taylor, I'll take the Taylor. I, I don't want a Taylor. I don't think it's that useful, but I'll catch it. Just give me the Pokemon. Oh, there's no Spore from Breloom. Okay, I must be thinking of something else. Maybe I learned Spore in a different generation? I'm pretty sure that Breloom's are very well known for using Spore. Must be a different generation, though. Is this Pokemon even in this area? They are. They are. I, I've caught, um, I've caught Slackoff here two times. I've accidentally defeated the Shroomish I could have caught once. I know he's here. This needs to show on up. Now, Control is saying, but don't put Breloom against any flying Pokemon because they are OP and times four is a thing. There he is! Shroomish, my boy! I told you! You didn't believe, guys, but there he is. I mean, Controlius believed. Doomsday didn't believe. The fool. The fool! He didn't know. He didn't know. Alright, Shroomish, you're coming with me. You're coming with me. Don't get any fighting types if you don't evolve. Yeah, gotta evolve, man. Oh, Shroomish, learn Spore if you don't evolve it. Oh. Oh, so I have to choose between fighting type attacks and learning Spore. Spore is pretty good. I don't know. I'll have to think about that one. Spore is a pretty amazing attack. Name it Toad? No, I'm gonna name it after your Controlius. Yeah, can I just get, like, a TM? Like, uh... Brick Break or something, and teach, uh, Breloom that? Spore's at 54? What? <sighs> at 54? What? That's so dumb! Ugh, oh, whatever. Just name him Controlius. I'm sure this Controlius will last longer than the last Controlius. Wait, that's- that's not right. There we go, much better. Alright, how are we doing HP-wise? Eh, not the best. <laughs> Rest in peace spelling. Hey man, I can't fit the second U in there. It doesn't fit. I can only get one U in there, but we, we all know what it says. We know it's Controlius. Just like the uh, 10 Swampert, man. It's missing a letter as well. Not a look. Not enough letters to go around. Only if only the woodpecker cried. Alright. Heal my Pokemon! Oh yeah, uh, give me one second guys, I will be right back. 